Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One Overview video series. Today we're going to be talking about purchasing, and we're going to be looking at purchasing reports. There's quite a lot of out-of-box reports that are available within Business One, so let's go take a look at the ones that are specifically focused on purchasing. So we have a couple of different ways that we can go into our reports. I could go to my Purchasing AP here, and I could go down to the bottom list here, and we can see I have a folder for Purchasing Reports, and we can go down in here and we can see all of the different purchasing reports that are available to me out-of-box. Now, I can have other reports uh, if I choose. Uh, and I could create those through the report wizard uh, and the uh, report query that's in the system, but we're going to take a look at some of the ones that we have in the system already. Let's look at a purchasing analysis report. As with most reports in Business One, when you choose one of the reports, it's going to present you with a selection criteria. It's going to ask you here, how do you want to be able to view this report? Let's look at it monthly. What do you want to look at? AP invoices, purchase orders, goods receipt POs? Well, let's keep this at AP invoices. And let's look at my um, individual display that we have here. I could do group display, which would group together uh, vendors. And we're just going to see total by vendor. Now on posting date, let's look, let's give it a wide range so we can find all kinds of really good information. Let's click OK, and let's see what kind of report is uh, generated for us. All right, so let me just move this out and make this a little bit larger here so we can see what's going on. So as we can see here, based on by vendor, I'm going to make this fit column width a little larger so we get an idea of what we're looking at. I can see here are my uh, purchased amounts that have come in for March of 2019, April 2019, May 2019, and June 2019. So we can see that I have information for the past four months uh, within this uh, database that I have here. Gives me a nice way that I could drill directly in if I wanted to see the annual uh, total that has happened with this vendor, I could click directly in and using my golden arrow, go into my vendor uh, information and business partner here. Now let's click out of this and let's look at a couple of other things that we might have going on here. Let's look at our open item list. This is always a nice one. I can see under my open item list, here are all of the different types of reports and documents that I have. We can see AR invoices, I could have um, some uh, AP down payments, AP invoices, AP credit memos. However, I want to be able to identify that and click on that within the system. Some of the other reports that we have here is I could look at a quote, uh, purchase quotation comparison report. Very nice if I'm doing purchase quotations to my vendors. I can also look at some drafts for doing draft reports that are out there. I could see purchase order without deposit purchase order linked to deposit. So hopefully you can see quite a lot of available reports out of box for the purchasing uh, section. Thank you very much for listening to my overview video today on purchasing reports.